Good morning, Hero Wars fans. It looks like a three-day event has already been announced for Tuesday March 1st. The event that starts tomorrow is a mini-event where you can get a Nebula Matryoshka doll, and mini-events where you can get Matryoshka dolls will probably be held more frequently from now on. Now, before I get to the point, let me give you a business announcement. Today, we started accepting entries for the viewer giveaway via the link in the description section of this video. The deadline to enter this viewer giveaway is Sunday March 6, 2022 at 11 am Japan time, so please click on the link in the description section of this video and enter your account ID in the blank box on the site that appears. The viewer giveaway for this video channel is intended for HeroWars.com players, and the system is unable to send the viewer giveaway to Facebook and mobile players. Now, I'd like to announce the winners of last week's viewer giveaway. We received 371 entries for last week's viewer giveaway, so the odds of winning are 1 123. As a result of a strict lottery, three winners have been confirmed, 12,575,773, 9,751,672, and 4,687,893. Congratulations to the three winners! The red gift packages will be sent out within 24 hours of this video being posted, so please look forward to receiving your prizes. The Guild Raid, which started last November, will be in its fifth month next month, so I would like to introduce the effective team composition against the boss Ash, as well as give you information on other heroes who will be active against Ash. As many of you already know, the team composition that can do the most damage against the boss Ash is a combination of Isaac, Ju, Nebula, Sebastian, Martha, and the team Pet Albus. This fight scene is by Parashki of the Guild Gravity, and the damage he is inflicting on Ush is over a million in one hit. In this team composition, the damage dealers Chu and Sebastian are supported by other heroes, and Sebastian is the hero who deals the most damage to Ush. Well, I did some research on heroes that can do damage against Ush and found this. For heroes not included in the previous team composition, we can see that Cornelius has outstanding performance. However, I don't think there are many situations where Cornelius is useful outside of boss battles, so if you want to train Cornelius, it would be better to use him as a countermeasure against Guild Raid boss. When fighting Ash, Ching Mao, Tristan, Yasmin, Corvus, Kark, Orion, Ginger, and Satori can also do a lot of damage, so if you're having trouble composing a team, try using this image as a guide. I'll tell you my personal thoughts on the Ash fight. Even though the heroes I just mentioned are excellent, the amount of damage they deal tends to decrease as the level of Ush increases. Of course it would if the bosses were higher level. I tried to copy Parashki's team composition, but when I did the same with my clunky heroes, they all ascended before I could damage Ush. What is this? Even if I imitate the team composition of someone who is fighting well against Ush, a purple equipped hero is completely unstoppable. I don't know when I'll be able to fight level 150 bosses on equal terms, but by the time that day comes, I'm sure the Guild Raid bosses will have changed. The Guild Raid bosses will probably be updated every 4 to 6 months, so even if you can't stand Ash at all, you might be able to fight the next boss after Ash. By the way, I was ranked 18th in the guild in terms of damage inflicted on Ash, so I guess I'm making some contribution to the guild as a guild master. Hey. How come you haven't been fired as Guildmaster when your attack contribution to Ash is listed as 0%? Well, the Guildmaster is the symbol of the guild. He could be pretty dumb, huh? Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.